what's going on guys we're back with some more fun FTB stuff going on in Skyblock so last time we recorded a video we had just completed the Steve's carts farm and I figured out how to get this thing to work so what it is is it's when the cart approaches the side that the color we specify it does different things so this is emptying all the storage slots and this is refilling the saplings and refilling the engine. So it'll refill the oak wood in the engine if it had to use any. So see, it just refilled that, and it's like I'm on my way again. Awesome. Um, I'll throw another stack of bones in here. Um, as soon as I can click it, there we go. Keep it nice and full. Try and do all of the stuff that it can. Um... And then I had made some fabricators after that. This wasn't in the recording. Fabricators are real easy to easy to make. Not fabricators. They're fabricators. And they're just made with engineering blocks, iron, crafting, and engineering blocks are made like so. And I used the actual dark side chromium as well just to make things easier for me because I don't think they have any specific purpose like the blue or the uh, green, or the red, for that matter. I don't know if the red has one, but anyway, you can see that there's a lot of things different down here. So I set up an automated sorting thing for the stuff that we're getting from the saplings, or from the tree farm. So I've got saplings going in here, apples in here, and then wood, and then excess saplings. And this is a wood pipe to keep this going, but as you can see, it's kind of bleh right now. I'm going to throw some charcoal in there and give it a chance to catch up because I've actually got a lot of charcoal up here anyway. Um, and then obviously probably the biggest change that we have is that this is set up in here. Now I had started to record an episode last time and it just got really long because I completely forgot how to build it. So I went ahead and finished it. Uh, I went through the Twilight Forest and found a whole bunch of copper. Uh, we explored a whole bunch. I can show you real quickly some of the areas that we found. So I went over there. There's a medium hill under a dark uh, thing, but there was no copper there. I went over to the medium hill over there in the magical place. Uh, there's like this really weird looking trees and stuff that I've never seen before. Um, went that way and there's another hill and a staircase that leads up to, well, there's a staircase over here. There's a staircase marking the other side of the dark forest, but there's another big tower thing going up there. But I basically just went around and tried to stay above 40 blocks constantly looking for the copper. And we found a good bit. Um as well as a whole bunch of coal and a few other things that I decided to grab, like the green zycuridite, or zycurmium, and yeah. So anyway, let's let's talk about what we have set up down here. So down here we have a squeezer that is squeezing apples into mulch that is feeding this with apple juice and mulch. Now this isn't really a solid setup. We need to get some actual power conduits going, but... For the time being, we only have a little bit of wiggle room. So we need to get this coming out like that. And then I need to replace that there. This Sterling engine, because this thing isn't working very well at all. I'll throw a little bit in there. Um, but so the squeezer is made like so. This is very copper intensive, so I suggest getting a lot. So you have to make these bronze ingots. Bronze ingots can be made in an induction smelter with tin and copper to get two. If not, you're only going to get one. So you got to do it that way, or you're just wasting materials. And then it's just tin and glass, so that's real not, not too bad to make. And then we need a fermenter. The fermenter is made with a whole bunch of bronze gears and the bronze casing, and yeah. But anyway, so they all need to be powered. 
That's why the Sterling engine's down here, powering these. This was down here because I thought I needed the water, and we may end up needing the water for the uh, fermenter at some point in time. But for now, I think the squeezer will do enough for us. You need just a very tiny bit of lava to get this thing started. And I don't know if we're producing it fast enough. Once we get an actual sort of set up with this red stone energy cells, we should be fine. There's three more for us. So let's put one, two, turn that to orange, I believe is what we need. And then we need another one, two, three. So as soon as we get three more, we'll be fine. It's just this thing takes forever because Sterling engines are not good, <laughs> unfortunately. Also, we made the energy cells and the conduits and stuff, so let's look at that. Uh, conductive wire. The redstone energy conduits are made with this hardened glass, which I had made some for something else. Um, I made the magma crucible like this. Let me come up here. I got enough stuff to make a soul forge and you can use uh, uh, let's see here you can use the soul forge with a stone brick with the corrupted essence in the val dust val dust you get from smelting soul sand so we had to smelt some soul sand we got this guy here that thinks he's cool or something He's not. I don't know where he spawned at. There's got to be somewhere that he's spawning, but anyway. So yeah, we've got the Soul Forge going now. We just a matter of getting the the uh, Soul Sand from the uh, sorting machine here. I got lucky enough to get two Soul Sand out of all of this, and then I've got it set up so that all of this is getting destroyed. All of this is getting destroyed and all of this so a whole bunch of stuff that I don't want uh, apparently there's more difficult ways to make advanced circuits now you actually have to get like an assembly machine so these go into that um what else do we got going on let's see got another one of these that's good oh don't want to do that So let's throw that in there. We'll get rid of all of this. Uh, this one I can put a block on. And then we'll just take the redstone energy conduits from this guy. Throw up my canvas bag. Throw some of this cobble and coal in here. Alright. That is why I made the canvas bag, was to make my life easier. Okay. So let's do that and that. Come down here. We no longer need the lever there. What was the lever there for? That was for something, I don't know. But anyway, it's still getting power. Getting a lot more power now. I want to make sure that we're staying about even. Because if we're just making enough power, that's not good enough. Things are going a lot faster now, though. So there, uh, we're losing a little bit, but I don't think it'll be a problem once this thing is fully heated up. Um, oh, that may have been what the thing was there for. Let's get, pop down here. It's there to keep that open. All right. So now... 
We got two more. As soon as we get one more done, I can destroy this. This. And we actually have some sort of automation going on now. As soon as we decide to. And there we go. Now we'll set that there, that up, that over here. Do the liquid transposer on the side here. The magma crucible. Let's turn the power on there. And that'll get these guys nice and filled up with power. And it'll be a lot easier to make. See, here we go. Getting it nice and filled. Um, and then let's move some of this stuff down here. Uh, get the rolling machine as well. And then I want to make a powered furnace as soon as we can. So we want the pulverizer. So let's put the induction smelter here, pulverizer here. We'll put the powered furnace there. And then I'm going to put the rolling machine there. So let's put that in there. Throw a few pieces of this. I don't know how much we need. I think it's only 50, yeah. So that should be close to getting it full. And then I want to make a little bit more lava just in case we need it. Uh, so we need two more. Right? One. Nope, just one more. Perfect. There we go. Now this should be losing power dramatically. We might have to make another biogas engine, which we should be able to do relatively easily. Just put it, plop it right on top of it. Why don't we do that? Why don't we make a biogas engine? So, biogas engines are made like so. Bronze, bronze gears, a whole bunch of fun stuff. So, now that the induction smelter actually has power, we can make some bronze gears and bronze pieces and everything else that is just a pain in the ass to create. We actually get some stuff pulverizing, like this copper, induction smelter, let's throw in. We need three for every two, so that's one, that's enough for, so six is enough for one gear. One, two, three, four, five, six, and then one, two, three. There we go. That should be all that we need. We need to switch it so that the red comes out the top here and not the side. There we go. 9, 11. And then we've got a piston up here. We need one piece of glass, which is over here. And then we need a couple of these gears. And then one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Boom. Boom, and boom, biogas engine. So let's set up another liquid duct here, and we'll set that guy up. And then we need to get some lava going. So I'm going to turn that off for now. This will make us lava very slowly very very slowly but at the same time we need it to be able to start our engine so 
we got biomass in here. We're actually losing a little bit of biomass, but I think that's because this one just filled up. <laughs> so it should be fine. I might actually need to run a couple more liquiducts under there. It looks like we're full on mulch. That wasn't something I was expecting. So I can work that around. Apples are going very quickly, though. Um, why don't we... Do I have another diamond? Might have another diamond pipe somewhere. I don't. Oh, well. Oh, in case you were wondering, I had the fabricator set up to make diamonds out of wood. So we just dump wood in this chest and it makes diamonds for me. Which is awesome. Um, I need a little bit of glass. A little bit of glass there. Right, perfect. And voila. More diamond pipes. And then we're going to need a chest of some sort to dump the excess mulch into. So let's do that. Put that there. We'll put that there. Red cannot ever this one. Blue cannot ever be anything, because venison's never going to go in there. No, I'm just going to do that as well. Okay. And the chest for the mulch. So, I'll throw the mulch in there. We'll uh, have the mulch go down into the black spot first, and then if it can't, it'll go to the next spot that it can, other than yellow. Perfect. Oh, right. So do we have enough to get a bucket out of here now? Can we get a bucket? Oh, yeah. Easily. Now, how do we get the bucket? Is the question. Probably have to have it go into here and get a bucket of lava that way. All right. Let's get you some lava, and then you need a lever to start you off. There we go. Now it's going to start using some biogas, or biomass, doing some good stuff here. I think this is actually not receiving biogas, which is a little troubling but we can fix that. Like so, like so. Oh, not what I wanted to do. Where'd it go? I got it, perfect. Um, maybe not, maybe that's not what I wanted to do. Why don't we get rid of you, get rid of you, get rid of you, link you two back up, or not, link you two back up, okay, <laughs> come around here, try and get the uh, liquiduct that I lost. Did I get it? I hope I did. Yep, I got the liquiduct. Good. There we go. And what I want to do with this liquiduct is I want to place it here and then click that. Perfect. And then it needs some way to lever out 
all of its things. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Just a ton of levers over there. Boom. Now it's getting biomass. That's getting biomass. The world is good. This thing has almost a full thing of biomass. And we've got excess going into here. And eventually it'll just go into a void pipe, probably. Um, this isn't producing energy, and now it is. So we should be fine now, honestly, as soon as everything else warms up. It's just going to be a little staggered for a while. Alright, and then we want to make a powered furnace. So, powered furnaces are bricks, which we can do. Copper, redstone, easy. Easy, easy, easy stuff. So we need two copper for sure. Copper, some... So throw that in there. Some iron and some gold, which I got here. One, two, three, four iron, two gold, some redstone. Redstone like so. Boom. A glass. It's always something. I'm going to organize this later. It's just it's a mess right now. I'm going to try and set up some... Uh, better ways to do things. Glass, iron for a machine frame, clay, do we have any clay? I don't believe I have any clay left over, but I definitely have clay. Where's a minium shard? There's one. So, two, three, four. I'm not mistaken. I should have four stacks on me. One, two, three, four. Minium shard. Perfect. Perfect. Let's make some of that. And then this is just going to keep looping. See how I have these set up up here? I've got it so that nothing can ever go any other ways. So, like, apples are automatically set to go down this green path, so they automatically go in there. And saplings will just sort themselves. They'll try and go into here first. If they can't, they'll just keep pushing. And then we've got this huge excess of saplings, so I don't think we're going to have a problem with saplings anytime soon. They might just actually throw in, be thrown into the void. Um... But I'm happy with the way this is working out for us. Um, I think this guy over here is kind of killing our groove. No, he's not. Really. Just got to make sure these things keep going. Because if they get... The lava doesn't matter at all. It's just to start them up. They don't use lava. But if they start to... Uh, stop start to stop. If they start to stop, then uh, they'll start using the lava, and that'll be bad. Back into watermelons, now that we're done with our venison. It's unfortunate. That's all the bricks that we need, I believe. Hopefully I don't need a compressor to... Nope. Um, redstone on the top. Machine frame coil. Copper. Redstone. Powered furnace. Awesome. So, this will start making the copper dust. The copper dust is going to go into this induction smelter, which I don't want it to do right now. But everything else should just kind of sort itself out. We'll have to throw some chest or something on top to distinguish where we want things to go, but I don't think we have any problem with things getting pulverized and then but I don't know. 
And we're starting to gain power, which is good. So we now have this infinite power source. It should never run out, ever. And we can just expand on it. Awesome. 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 So that'll be a nice quick little episode, just kind of get show you guys what I did last time and what we added this time. Um, when we come back, we'll... Actually, let me see. I want to do a LV transformer. I know that could be made into this, that. Oh, wow, that's really cheap. So this is an LV producer, is what we want to make. And that's nothing. We can make that real fast. So what we want to do with that, we're going to do this real quick because I got copper wires in here. Um, let's make these all into wires. A little bit of wood. One, two, three, four. And some gold. And that's really all it takes. That's that's awesome. One, two, three, four, two, three. There's an LV transformer. And then we need some gold. Four of these guys. And we've got ourselves a consumer. Let me throw these saplings in here. I don't want these on me. And then we need an energy bridge. I don't believe those are expensive. Diamond, gold. So we got one diamond, four gold, and some glass. Was that it? And two pieces of glass and some redstone. So there we go. And then redstone, glass. And then we need a MJ consumer. We need a BC consumer. A Sterling engine, which we have a ton of right now. I actually think those are probably in my inventory, aren't they? Yep, Sterling engine and some gold. So let's grab the rest of the gold. Four. And then we're going to make a bat box. Two, three, four. Boom. And we need to make a bat box. Bat box, which is four of these guys, which we have an extra one down here because of the recycler. We got several extra ones down here because of the recycler. Some tin, some tin, some tin, some tin. Tin is probably on our person. So let's see, what can I put away? Put away that and that, that and that, and that, and that, and that, and that. Okay. So let's do this. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. There. Empty things there. Boom. Now we just need some wood for the bat box. Three, four, five. Boom. And one, two, three. Bat box. All right. Things are looking good. So, we'll get rid of this generator. We'll get rid of this infinite loop of things. Um, I actually might even... Uh, I don't know. We'll see what happens here. I'm going to do the bat box here, actually, because it never hurts to have extra power going into this. So the bat box has, is it the one side is the in or the one side is the out? I can't remember. So we're going to set it up like that for now. Um, I'm going to get some cobble. 
And we're going to... Do this. So let's set up a little walkway underneath of here. Oh. Okay. No, that's got to be the input then. So we want the input down here. So we'll uh, loop this around like so. And boom, boom. Just keep going, boom. Work our way this way. And it's probably probably want to set up our so this is an LV consumer we want an LV producer so we want the BC there the energy bridge can be here and the LV producer can be here and then what we want is we're gonna want some glass fiber running underneath of this So let's jump out of here. Glass fiber is cheap, I believe. I haven't made it in a long time, so we got to look it up. Glass fiber can be made with diamond and redstone, or silver and diamond. So I believe I've got some silver just hanging out. So let's do 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Let's just do 16. Throw that in there, take this copper. I'm gonna need some glass, that's for sure. Got a little bit here, a little bit over here. Then I'll need eight diamonds, which we've got. And I think I've got a little bit of glass fiber somewhere so we can start this. We do, we got a little tiny bit. The reason I'm using glass fiber is because it's actually cheaper than using the uh, copper for us, which is hysterical. I find that to be one of the funniest things ever. Let's come around here. We'll do this. And there's a little bit of silver. We'll wait for one more. One more silver. We actually don't even need to use the charcoal anymore, but I made it all, so we're going to use it. There we go. I miss the 1.5 things <laughs> so much. I miss not being able to drag. That's <laughs> part of the recipe. So there we go. There's that. Get rid of this guy. Boom, 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 boom. Boom, boom, boom. Oh, I don't need it over there. But, uh, well, it's gone. It's gone forever. And we can't get out now, so I'm going to break this anyway to get out. That box should be charging real fast. And should be producing power regardless. And just fell down here again. So the recycler should now be going at full speed at all times. This is still gaining power ever so slightly, which is exactly where we want it to be. This is at full power constantly, and this is just going to produce extra. Give us something to do with the excess wood. And yeah. We don't even need it anymore. So Recycler is now fully operational, and we can just leave this server on until we get everything that we need. Which we're going to have... The next thing we're going to have to make is we're going to have to make a quarry and start mining out the uh, Twilight Forest to get... Uh, to get the... 
um, iridium to make the matter fab. So yeah, that'll be fun. <laughs> but in all honesty, it shouldn't be too difficult because we can make ourselves an energy tesseract like we did before and just be in great shape. So, there we are. There is sustained power in Skyblock. Both EU and MJ. It's just a matter of steeze carts, energy bridges, and a whole lot of things. So, <laughs> alright. Well, that'll do it for now, guys. Let me know what you're thinking, and I'll see you guys later.